However, 20 to 30% of the women with PCOS have normal weight. There are three methods of measuring visceral fat in the body and there are cutoffs assigned to each method. Irregular periods or missed periods, acne, hair loss and excess facial hair. What's common to all of them? It is that they are symptoms of a disease syndrome called polycystic ovary disease or PCOS. PCOS is generally found in women who have obesity. However, 20 to 30% of the women with PCOS have normal weight and about 5% of lean women have PCOS. This condition is called lean PCOS. Owing to unhealthy dietary choices and sedentary lifestyle, lean women may be thin but they have increased fat deposition around the organs inside the body, especially in the abdominal region. And this is called visceral fat. Visceral fat leads to central or android pattern of obesity and it is the strongest indicator of lean PCOS. There are three methods of measuring visceral fat in the body and there are cutoffs assigned to each method. If the numbers are greater than the cutoff, then you have central obesity and risk of developing lean PCOS. The first method is waist circumference that should be less than 80 centimeters. The second is waist hip ratio whose cutoff is 0.8. And the third is waist height ratio, whose cutoff is 0.5. Lean PCOS is very similar to obese PCOS, as the basic cause behind both is the development of small cysts in the ovaries that causes hormonal imbalance and insulin resistance. Some of the common symptoms are irregular periods, that is, periods that don't occur between a 21-day interval or a 35-day interval. Excessive hair growth on the face, the neck, the front, back and thighs. Male pattern baldness. Excessive pimples or acne. Infertility. Weight gain. And dark velvety patches on the nape of the neck known as acanthosis nigricans. In the upcoming video, we will discuss the management of lean PCOS.